So, the time has finally come. Or at least it's about to because our big old large dark egg is about one minute from finally incubating. This will be the very first egg that we have hatched as yesterday we took down a boss uh, which got us ancient technology points and then we went and took down some... Well, also bosses. It also said it was our first boss. The first world boss, Chillet. And that gave us what we needed to craft this bad boy here up. Now, I have no clue what is in store for us. I don't know what's going to pop out of this egg. I don't know if it's going to be a baby. I don't know if it's going to grow up. I don't know if it's going to be an adult already. And we can like equip it and run around with it and do our thing. Don't know if it's going to be something we've already got or something completely fresh. But that is the mystery of incubating a mystery egg. And I cannot wait. Guys, welcome back to Power World. If you do enjoy the video, if you're enjoying the game, if you're enjoying the series, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. <gasps> Make it rain those thumbs ups now. I assume there's only but a few seconds remaining. While I've been waiting for this to happen, I have been stockpiling a bunch of other stuff, by the way. We got lots of arrows. I've got... Uh, 207 of them to be exact i've got 38 power spheres 20 mega spheres um and that's basically it it's nearly night time but i guess we'll uh we'll have a little schnooze with our new friend in just a second because in three two one not quite okay oh we get to do it manually oh to incubate the egg all right let's have a look it is a nox and it's only level one all right Okay, if you find Nox hair in your bedding, you should leave it where it lays and leave immediately. Pick oh, I didn't get to read the full description on what these guys are all about. But come morning, I guess we'll try and find it in our little pow decks, pow, pow companion guide thing. And we'll see if that's got any information for us, the pow deck. Uh, so we're looking for something called a Nox. It's a dark, it's a dark thing. Uh, leave it where it lays and leave immediately. Picking it up is one way tickets and a never ending night. Okay. So are these guys that like attack you at nighttime or something? Uh, it sounds interesting. They, they drop small pals. Okay. These guys actually sound quite interesting. They drop leather and small pal souls. Um, which means technically I could put it in my farm and it might like lay us things um like parcels or whatever also oh i forgot we've got this guy here our special tansy he's lucky work speed extra attack um in, uh, decrease to income water damage this guy is an absolute beast uh he's our little shiny friends let's go and chuck him here he's like extra large and stuff we caught him yesterday and Nox over here um i guess he just kind of works the farm is that kind of what he does i guess so oh no he gathers that's that's it well, hopefully he drops a few little souls here and there. Where is he? There he is. Looks a bit like an Eevee of sorts, I suppose. But really, really cute nonetheless. Now, I want to go on an adventure. I want to go search far and wide and see what we can find. We have uh, a lot at our fingertips, I suppose. We just got to go ahead and do it. I've been looking and trying to find out how to get ourselves a grapple gun. Um, I know I don't have the ingots for it, so I guess we got to go collect some metal and stuff. I can't work out exactly where to... Uh, craft the thing up though so unless there is a crafting structure which i am yet to craft up um yeah i haven't worked that part out yet a mega shield though that might actually be worthwhile us investing in right this second let's let's do exactly that i need a few more um how thing of bobbies what are they called powdian fragments the little magical ones um where's my deer come over here my friend <laughs> And let's quickly grab a few of these. I feel like this was certainly a very worthwhile uh, thing for us to get our hands on. Just because it means we can like survive that a little bit longer out there. And today I want to go and for a bit of a search. So let's go explore the world. Let's see what we can find. We've really only scraped the surface of what's out there at this point. And uh, just who knows what's out there basically. It's a big old map. Look at this thing. And just here on the brink of like what we've explored so far, there's this big red something and i'm really curious to see like what that is on the map because i don't know it's just sparking my curiosity and i feel like we gotta find out also i see another one of these dark eggs so you better believe oh that one had like one thing left to break on it um yeah let's get that that egg um yeah 100 and we will take that back with us and oh hey guys oh gosh um Look, I didn't mean to trample you. 
But since we're here, like, I guess we can just... Goodness! These guys are mad. Kativas, they're like rapid fire. They're nuts. The whole way that I initially caught one of these uh, these deer things, because I, I did it off camera and you guys didn't see it. These Kativas just went absolute ham on one and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time, throw a ball at it and do what I had to do. It was it was amazing. Um, dude, you're still aggressive. All right, just, just chill. Just chill. These guys are nuts. These guys are nuts. I've seen them kill your type. We don't want to instigate them. Or do we? All right, that wasn't what I was trying to do. All right, just, just fire a little shot at it. And then this guy, um, you know what? Oh, okay, 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 you little crazy thing. Get out of here. All right, back to business. I want to get my hands. Oh, look at the big old monkey over there doing his thing. All right, dismount real quick or don't. I guess we don't really need to because we can just do it like this, apparently. Um, cannot work on it while riding, though. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, I'm accessing all sorts of inventory that I'm, I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to dismount. Let me dismount. There we go. Oh, and by the way, let's uh, let's put our dark egg in here and let that incubate because why not? Okay, let's get this mega shield. And um, I have somewhere in, I have somewhere in mind. I think I know exactly where we're going to be going. Mega shield acquired. <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy is so amazing. I should just bring you with me, but get some levels and then you can come with us. So this is what I was kind of thinking of. Uh, we obviously took down this tower yesterday, or at least the boss inside of it, but just here. Actually, I got like a really full inventory, don't I? Oh gosh, I should have emptied that. Um, I still might go and empty that as a matter of fact, but inside of here is a cave or a dungeon rather. Uh, there's a level 13 boss inside of it, and I don't really know. I feel like we could take it. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but I really want to go inside and just see what one of these dungeons is all about. The only thing is, I have a full inventory, and just in case there's like a ton of loot inside of it, I think we should uh, just go and drop whatever I can. Doesn't look like there's much I actually can drop. Um, I wish there was a better way to store items that we could kind of just spread. Oh, what are you doing in there? It's meant to be like that. Ah, oh, you know what? I think we just got to go ahead and bite the bullet and uh, get some more storage. Kind of hoping that this little box right here can actually hold more than... Nah, it holds about the same, I think. Well, either ways, I could just dump my entire inventory inside of it. I do not care. We've got what we need to carry. Now let's go and see what's inside of this mysterious cave. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get my crossbow on the ready too, by the way. Would you like to enter the dungeon? You better believe it, game. You better believe it. Oh, okay. Those are new. I haven't seen those before. What happens if I shoot one? Okay, uh, it's not quite enough to take one down, but two shots will take a level six down. I'm going to try and catch these. A kill Murray. Okay, I wasn't expecting... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, good for you. I wasn't expecting to find things to catch in here but we got like some little bloopers kind of like from super mario sunshine <laughs> all right hold on hold on i'm trying not to kill them just for the record but we're just too strong oh perfect get inside of that bowl buddy look how tiny little slither of health he's got and i reckon we've got it 80 percent chance we did it nice they dropped me some venom glands which is pretty Dang it, we got syndicate thugs in here too. Uh, in good news though, we are very low on this magical palladium fragments. And it looks like we got some massive ore nodes in here too. So we can bring a good stack of this home with us. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. Dude, I got to put a base near this place. All right, I didn't know this is what we're going to kind of be in store for by coming in here. Um, and there's also, I saw this big old... Big old metal node as well. Actually, no, all fragments are too heavy. I should be careful. All right, let's not load up too hard. Let's not load up too hard. There is a boss in here. Then probably some pretty sweet stuff in here too. So I'm going to get a friend to join us. And we're going to set these dudes on fire. All right, command aggressively. And oh, here we go. <laughs> Just one shot, one of them. Dude, I should ca try and catch some of these guys. Can I catch some? 0.06% chance. Okay, so there is a chance. <laughs> there most certainly is a chance. And we've leveled up. Nice. Headshot, baby. 
Damn. Dude, we're dealing so much damage. Um, hey. Out of here. You wanna, you wanna get inside of the bowl? 10% chance. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Close, but. Hey. Oi. 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 What do you think you're doing? Get hacked. Wicha. Get hatchet. Get axed. Get wrecked. Nice. And those guys actually drop some little bowls for us, too. So that's pretty sweet. All right, my little fiery friend. You're doing pretty good. You can uh, come with us onto this next little area because it looks like we got some more of these kilmaris some more little floaty squirts and a giant skeleton lovely all right um how do we want to do this should we just shoot him why not why not let's see if we can uh make something are you kidding me yeah Get inside of your bowl that wasn't an option 70 percent. that's good odds 80 percent. good odds and uh, the others are all dead. But oh, we caught that one. Fantastic. Now, we've got a fork in the road here. We've got... Oh, we actually got three options. We don't have a map of this place either. So we've got to be careful and make sure we don't get lost in here. I'm also kind of keeping my eyes peeled for any hidden chests. I don't know. There might be treasure in here. <gasps> the thugs are fighting stuff. Let's go. But for now, yeah, we're going to turn right. We're going to keep turning right. Just... Because so, this place might become a bit of a maze. I have no clue what to expect in here. Um, what are they fighting? Toddlers. I can catch that. Hey, you. <laughs> Get wrecked. Another syndicate. Dude, the thugs are getting wrecked. Um, yeah, I'll get you in a bolt too. Very low catch rate though. Very low catch rate. I don't like it. I don't like the chances here. 65, 100. Let's go. That one there's. I reckon I can get that. 51% chance. Very low on health. It's a level 10. 76. And we've got it. Dude. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, this guy's a low level. He's dead. This guy. Oh, it's not low enough. But a little... I know that my dude... I didn't want to kill it. But it's what happens. There's no turning back now. We got some leather from some of them. And that's about it. I think that's... Oh, hold on. There's another one over here. Where is he? I see you. Bam. Gonna get inside the boat. 47%. What do you got? Oh, sneaky little fella. All right. Come here. I'm gonna hit you with, a, hit you with, my, with my with my club. And another one. And don't fight. Buddy. You're too aggressive, mate. Just a little bit at a time. We'll be okay. We'll get there. But we're good. Okay. So, following the path leads us in this direction very oh, great a watery cannon canyon can we swim quickly slash are there underwater dudes no it's okay it's very shallow it's not too bad okay let's keep going over here then what do we got more of those little super bloop dupers all right Dude, this thing's huge I, I wish I had some sort of map to know where I was going, but I guess it's okay. All right, let's do this thing. One down. I kind of feel bad, man. These guys are just like minding their own business and we're just running in here. <laughs> Guns blazing. They don't even seem aggressive. That's probably the worst part. I don't think they are. Shots. Yeah get it he's got look they're just minding their own business and i'm really just being a real pain in the backside and i feel kind of terrible about it but it is what it is i guess um hey foxy sparks come here buddy let's 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 make quick work of this shall we <laughs> let's just light them up take them all down at once and we can uh, get on to the next room of this dungeon as soon as possible after we get their poison glands as of course Let's keep moving. Now, did I see something over here? I thought I saw a chest of some sort, but I don't think so. I think we're heading in that direction next. I think we came from over there. I am so lost. But I just know there's got to be some mysteries lying inside of here. All right, that's interesting. This is definitely a wall. But we've reached a dead end. This torches to like kind of hint that there's more to see over there but 
It definitely is not. So I'm starting to wonder if these caverns are procedurally generated. That was rather interesting. All right, we're going back. And it's time for us to, I guess, head through one of the other forks in the road. Wait a second. We didn't go this way. This is new. I didn't even see this. This was hiding behind a rock. Oh, chest. Yo, let's go. Hello, chest. All right, what do you got for me? You got something nice? Power spheres, gold coins, and small power soul. No guardian <laughs> ready to jump me, thankfully. That's pretty cool. Fox Sparks, mate, you're, you're, you're literally a little firefox. You probably shouldn't be jumping in the water. Oh, hello. What do we got over here? They haven't seen any of these guys before. We got some little kitties that kind of spawned in behind us. Or at least were following us. Um, well... They're fighting the thugs again. The thugs have returned. I'm going to let them do their thing. And I'm just going to cruise on by. Or am I? <gasps> no, I think I need to go back through. I think I've got to cross paths with them. All right. You know what? Let me catch one of these guys. Because I haven't seen one before. Why not? I shot it a little bit too hard. Whoops. All right. It is what it is. Um, I don't really want to take sides with the syndicate thugs, but I'm just going to try and sneak in here. You know what? Oh, he's popped out. Little banana. Hold on. Get back here. Get back here. Where are you going? Get inside of there. 62% chance. I like the odds. 80. He popped out at 80%. All right. Fox box. Get over here. You know what? It's fine. Let's just keep moving. I'm going to try and... No! All right. Huggy. Huggy. Uh, oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. It's time. It must be done. Flame Thrower! Annihilate everybody! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish you could do this in Pokemon, man. This game is literally just a, a, a shining example of what... Of a direction Pokemon could have gone. Where instead of all combat being in, you know, turn-based combat, you could really start to utilize your your creatures in different ways, but it just I don't know. This lacks the innovation to take combat any further than it already was. Alright, so we've got another one of these little kitty dudes. And some more thugs out here. This room is huge! All right, well, they don't seem aggressive, so I'm just going to kind of cruise along. They might engage with the thugs in a second. Chest, chest, chest. Let's go. Okay, copper key. Ooh, we got a key. I don't see any ways out of this room. <laughs> just letting the thugs do their thing over here. I don't see a very obvious pathway out of here. So I think I'm just gonna ignore it and leave the room. Because <laughs> I know that there were three passageways back in that other room and I think this is the second. So yeah, we're just gonna keep moving. Did I end up catching one of these guys there? We got this guy just chilling on his own. I'm gonna take advantage of that. And... These. Good, 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 good little kitty. We've got ourselves a Mao. Mao? Mao. All right. So, this is passage number two. That's the one we came from. They're the fuddlers, which means now we're heading in this direction. There's more things over here. D dreams. D daydream? Daydream. Daydreams. They're called daydreams. I say that looks interesting over that way. All right. I reckon that might be the boss direction. Or is this the boss direction? Don't tell me I'm going to need to grapple. Nah, this looks like a dead end. So that's good at least. There's two uh, two exits from this room. Okay. Um, well, I've got to catch one of these daydreams, right? We just, we got to do it. I don't know how aggressive this... Dude, I wasn't meant to kill it. I'm so sorry. I keep accidentally landing like crits. 
And no, oh, you silly goose. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. No. Oh, I don't know what's worse. Accidentally killing one or my dude accidentally finishing one off and then me just shooting a ball straight through it. I end up with less resources and we don't get the team either. Kind of heartbreaking in a way. But this looks like we're onto something heading in this direction. There's no creatures in the way. But, oh, this room looks cool. All right. I believe we have found the boss. Uh, they're Kilmaris. Kilmaris. Hey, guys. Um, now would be a great time, Huggy. Fox Fox, whatever you are. Are these guys coming to attack us or not? You guys just cruising past? Or should I light them up? I mean, just in case they decide to sneak attack me from behind. I'm going to take care of them. And now let's go and take on their, their, their big puppers over here. I don't know if you can catch these guys, but I'm just going to light them up. And hopefully deal some pretty solid damage to them. All right, we're out of, we're out of fire, obviously. I should probably switch, but it's fine. Also, I think there's only one, meant to be one of these in here. But because we've uh, increased the spawn rates in this world to three eggs... Wherever there's meant to be one boss, there are now three, which is, it's insane. It's insanity, but it's kind of fun. Get wrecked. Nice. Well, that's it. I think we took down the bosses. Now, were they protecting treasure? Surely. Also, what do I do with the copper key that I found? That's the other big question. <gasps> Hold on. Oh yeah, there's something over here. Oh, there is mysteries. What is this? All right, let's check the chests first. We've got crossbow schematic one. Okay. And pelt armor schematic two. Oh, I don't know. I need a, what, what in the world is this? Unlocks recipe for the crossbow. Can be crafted at high quality workbench. We've already done that. And then we've got the pelt armor. We've already got pelt armor. But you meant to like consume this thing? I don't understand what these are for, but we've got them anyways. All right. Now, what is this thing here? Le oh, oh, this is the ticket out of here. But what about the copper key? Oh, well. I guess we're done here. We've completed the dungeon. All in all, pretty sweet. Very sweet, as a matter of fact. That was really cool. All right. Lovely. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, little squiddy dudes. It's time for me to head back home. So we actually gained a few levels from all of that. Three levels to be exact. I'm going to put them, you know, what, a little bit of weight would be great. A little bit of work speed would be fantastic too. And then maybe a little bit more attack or stamina. Stamina seems to be a big one. We've obviously gained three levels, which means we got some more things that we can learn. Let's have a look at what we've got. See if there's anything useful down here. Uh, the poison arrow crossbow cooking pot i guess that would actually be really worthwhile for us to get our hands on soon a heater in case it gets cold <gasps> we can get pengullet's rocket launcher but then we launch pengullet and knock it out and that's kind of sad so i don't know if i'm gonna do that just yet we got a fireplace set of structures uh a mega glider now that sounds awesome but we need bones and i don't know how to get bones yet um cold resistant pelt armor stone structure set and a cooler Pulls the nearby area and protects against heat. Yeah, I guess that's... And the Mega Grapple Gun. Well, I... Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I need more Ancient Points to get that one there, unfortunately. Dang it. So, yeah, I think as of right this second, the, the big bottlenecks for us are most certainly... I need more ingots. I need more metal. So, I think to solve this problem, what we're going to have to do is set up our next shop. I guess, like... I don't, oh, we got rubies. I don't know where we picked up these, but that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, and we got some more of these ancient technologies as well. I think we're going to have to set up base, our second base, because now that we can do that, we, we probably should do that. Um, but we should probably do it near a good supply of metal. I feel like that's going to be our best shot here. I guess we just got to like pull our finger out and do it. Well, since all my dudes are resting, I may as well join them. Let's go and have a much well-earned rest. 
<laughs> and everybody's looking pretty darn happy at this point. How we doing here? Eight more minutes left to go before our dark egg is ready. Nice. This guy here. What an absolute machine. I, I, I think I got to bring this guy with me. Or I just, I don't know. He just, I kind of just want, I want him at my disposal. Whenever we're like doing our thing. I think that'd be great. But for now, oh, how far am I off my mega glider? I think I need five more ingots, don't I? Oh no, we need bones. Okay, that's what I was about to say as well. We got to work out how to get bones. I'm assuming maybe we're just going to harvest the big bones that you find in the wild. But uh, since we don't have access to those just yet, I'm going to head back out here to our near teleporter point. I'm going to jump across, jump onto my guy. Run over a few little unsuspecting victims who are just minding their own business. Past where the syndicate camp once existed. And I want to see what this big old red area on my map is. It should be down here. Right? Oh, 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 the ground's changing color. Oh, okay. What is the bet? It is really warm out there. Like, if there was going to be a hot area, what would you do? Would you, would you cover it in red trees and red ground? Because I feel like that's what I would do. I don't know. There's something, something suspicious about that place over there. And I feel like that might be it. Anyways. Oh, I might head up there. looks like there's some ruins up there. While I am here, though, I'm going to grab some metal. We do need this ore. Um, and it seems there's a few nodes nearby. So we might actually be pretty close to somewhere. that it could be worthwhile placing a spawn point. There's another one down there. One down there. One here. And then one over there. But I'm really intrigued to hit up that spot. So come over here, my guy. Let's go check it out. Oh, egg. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Dark. A uh, large damp egg. Okay. By the way, my guy here can double jump. Don't know if you knew that. Pretty freaking awesome. All right. What do we got up here? It's not a... Sp hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's something. Hello. What is this? Sealed realm of the frozen wings. Dude, there's just so many, like, mysteries. What is it? Enter dun... It's a dungeon. I was not expecting this to be a dungeon. Does it show up on my map? It kind of does. It does. Okay, cool. Wait, no, hold on a second. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. There's a boss. The pen, the penguin king. The pen king lives in here. And in good news, it looks like there's also a respawn teleportation fast travel point. There it is. All right, nice. So we can get out here quickly if we need to. Not that if we need to, but if I want to take that, that dungeon on, we know how to get out here. Um, it's not as warm out here as I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. All right. There's some smoke up there though. Got to keep uh, eyes peeled on that one there. What do we got down here? Have I seen these guys yet? Vixleys? They look kind of new. But right, we got some chests and stuff over here. I was going to quickly just grab a lift monk effigy. These things are valuable. And some bread, gold coins, and a small pouch. These guys are new. How you doing? Um, I yeah. don't mind if I do. Hey, 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 we got it. Aw, I feel bad for his buddies, but. Oops, I one shot that one. Oops, I one shot that one. Whoops, I one shot that one. Dude, I was going to catch all of these. And we just headshot them all. Okay, my bow is too strong. But, uh, hey, at least we got lots of fluids. <laughs> I guess. Oh, hello. All right. I see a chest. When you see a chest, you must collect said chest. Arrows, Megasphere, gold coins. Speaking of gold coins, have not seen the Traveling Wanderer for a very, very long time. I have no clue where he's gotten to, but um, he hasn't been visiting us at home. Or I've just been too busy 
you know adventuring no idea all i know is i haven't seen him in some time all right back home we go i've got an egg ready to get my hands on we got some metal to smelt what do you mean still another three minutes it was three all right you know what? i'm just gonna wait this out all right the moment of truth is it just gonna give us exactly what we've already got or is it gonna give us something nice and new and unique it's another Nox. Okay, so it gives you the exact same. Oh, the suspense was totally not worth it. But guys, we are going to end this one right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. You're interrupting my outro, buddy. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. Have a little chill in your hot tub like my guy over here. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.